Welcome back to the channel guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing fantastic as always and I hope that you have a good feeling right here and up here. In this video, I'm going to be doing something of a mod, if I can call it that, that I don't see done very often on the 7 Series. Now this thing, this little mod has been done on other vehicles before, like on an E39, E46, but maybe just there isn't enough info on 7 Series on the internet. So I'm going to make a video that nobody asked for and I'm going to install a compass mirror on my 7 Series because I wanna know where I'm going, not where I've been. Let's go. In theory, this should be really simple. The connectors are the same, even though this didn't come out of a 7 Series. I got this at the junkyard from an E92, I believe. It was a 335 or 328 that was all junked out. And the mirrors are actually the same across a bunch of BMW models. Now, my mirror has the dimming function. I believe this one does too. And everything else should be the same. I also have um, the light sensor right here. And this one has the added security light at the bottom and three more buttons to control garages. I don't know if I can actually make all of these work, meaning that in total I would have the three garage openers up here and then three more. So that means that I could theoretically, I could own like six garages. Wow, you must be rich. That's insane. Or I could just break into people's homes if I, I don't know, if I code it correctly. But let's go ahead and just swap it out. All you really need is one of these. There is going to be a tab right here. You don't actually need one of these. I'm just doing it because it's a little easier. And actually, you know what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's take the mirror off first. So to take these mirrors off, there is a circular bracket attached to the windshield. And upon this bracket, you have a sort of triangle locking mechanism. So to be able to take off the mirror, you gotta twist twist that mirror off like so <sighs> really simple and I'll show you a close-up of this in just a moment and then just unclip the connector and as easy as that Here's what it looks like when you remove it. If you've never seen this, take a good look at it. It's gonna be a circular bracket with a slightly, like I said, kind of like triangle setup to it. And this is gonna be your rain sensing module. So all these cars, if I'm not mistaken, all the seven series have rain sensing wipers. This is a module that um, I think it, it's like a prism. And then when light hits it, it actually will detect if there's any water or if any of that light is being refracted by any water and if it is then it'll activate the wipers really cool uh, setup here and then this is going to be the old mirror that i just took off let me see if i can put it in the light for you uh, maybe that's too much light <laughs> right there so all you're doing is you're just twisting you'll feel it release and then it comes off and here's the two mirrors side by side. This is the original mirror that I just removed. This is going to be the new one with the added features that I pointed out earlier. Um, all in all, it looks really similar. Like I said, this one has an extra little chip there or like a little board. Uh, yes, I don't know exactly what that does, but uh, I've seen other three series E90, E92s that have that. If somebody knows, uh, let me know, please, on the comments below. Uh, the attachment point is the same and then if we flip it over um, you have pretty much just a clear mirror on this side and then over on this one you're gonna have that window that cutout window on the glass that will show the compass and apparently if you see closely there it also would show temperature I see a Celsius and a Fahrenheit um, option there I just don't know and I haven't found anywhere that you can actually activate those on BMWs. I do believe maybe they use these for other cars as well and in those other vehicles it shows the temperature. Now it would be really cool if I could show the temperature on this one. Is that through coding? Does anybody know? Please shout out let me know. Now let's compare 
the connectors on both of these. Here is the connector for the original one and here is the connector for the replacement. If you note the shape, the shapes are exactly the same. However, if you look deep in there, and it is really hard to show with the camera right now, this one has less pins than this one. So I do believe that this mirror may be able to have more features than this mirror, and maybe my car won't recognize him. I don't know. I'll just have to plug it in and figure out what it does. Make sure that you lock the mirror all the way um, to center position. And then let's try the keys. And it shows we are due east right now. To calibrate the compass, you are gonna need some sort of pick tool. Look down here onto the mirror. There's gonna be a little opening. You're gonna put your pick tool right there. Okay. And there's gonna be a little button. You're gonna press it. Press and hold until the letter C appears. Once that happens, you're gonna drive in circles. So make sure that you're in some sort of open space and just drive around in circles. And we'll see how long it takes for this to work until the C disappears. Don't go too fast, maybe five miles an hour or less. Now it's calibrated. Well, that was really simple. And I can confirm now that as long as the mirror is not broken, this is plug and play. One thing to note is that security light, that little red dome under the mirror, the one that activates when you lock your car and blinks, will not work on these cars. Uh, I think it's part of the wiring because our cars have that blinking light on the dashboard. I haven't tried setting up the garage opener, but I will cover that in another video down the road, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till the very end. As usual, I appreciate you wholeheartedly. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you on the next video.